opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. The Sicilian defense controls the d4 square with c-pawn. c3 prepares for a quick d2 d4 pawn break, hoping to recapture on d4 with a pawn, rather than a piece. nf6 develops the knight, controls the d5 square, and attacks the undefended e4 pawn. e5 takes space in the center and immediately attacks the knight on f6. And d5 relocates the attacked knight to the center. d4 takes space in the center, protects the e5 pawn and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. cx d4 captures the d4 pawn and releases the tension in the center. nf3 develops the knight, attacks the d4 pawn and defends the e5 pawn. E6 supports the knight on d5 and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. Cx d4 captures the d4 pawn and supports the e5 pawn. d6 attacks the pawn on e5. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. This wins a tempo by threatening a bishop and forcing it to move away. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. This is an equal trade. Recaptures. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is the last book move. The pawn is now adequately defended. It is good. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is best. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is excellent. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. That's fine. It is good. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is excellent. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is excellent. This kicks an opposing bishop. It is excellent. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is good. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to reveal an attack on a bishop. It is a mistake. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is excellent. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. This threatens to win a knight. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to develop a rook off its starting square. It is a mistake. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. This threatens to win a rook. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. This threatens to win a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is a mistake. White was better off, but now their position is winning. It is a mistake. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. This loses material. It is an inaccuracy. An interesting move, although not technically the best. It is good. A very strong play. It is excellent takes back. It is best. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. Very precise. It is best. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. White played a bit better than black in the opening. White pounced on their opportunities in the middle game.